Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 122 Hakim House in the world of San Myshuno and this is going to be sort of a celebrity apartment. That was the vague idea I was going on here because I really wanted to create like a luxurious high-rise apartment that feels very cozy but really high-end as well. So you can let me know how I did on that. I was really inspired by some of of those home tours you see here on YouTube of celebrity homes. And so I thought creating something like that in The Sims would be fun. I do really wish I could have placed this apartment in the world of Del Sol Valley that comes with Get Famous because that's more LA inspired and makes me think more of celebrities and Hollywood. But unfortunately we don't have apartments there. So I did settle for San Myshuno. But if you're more interested in living out that Hollywood story, I have just the thing for you. So thank you so much to Hollywood Story for sponsoring today's video. Have you ever wanted to become a movie star and live a glamorous Hollywood lifestyle? In Hollywood Story, you can do just that. Build your career, shoot movies, hang out with celebrities, and attend epic parties. You get to custom create your own character and go through your own success story, meeting so many wild characters along the way, and maybe even falling in love. We love some good drama. My favorite part of Hollywood Story is designing outfits and competing in the fashion arena. There are just so many options to choose from, and I mean, come on, fashion battles? Yes, please. But how will you tell your Hollywood story? Download Hollywood Story now using the link in my description and start feeling starstruck anywhere you go. Also, if you download using my link in the description, you will receive this exclusive Birds of Paradise dress. And this dress is exclusive to my download link. You can't just get it in game. So make sure you grab that. Thank you again to Hollywood Story for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So something that I feel like has been incredibly popular for years now is light wood tones and really open concept kitchens with waterfall edges, like a white kitchen. Of course, I didn't go fully white in here. I have some light wood tones on those cabinets and this gorgeous herringbone tile that we got with Growing Together. It's one of my favorite tiles in the game, if not my favorite tile in the game. So of course I had to use it in this space. Plus I just wanted to introduce a little bit of color, but still keep it pretty subtle and calming and all of that. So I did go with this light green color, which I thought was so beautiful. And then I have a little dining space here right next to the kitchen island. And that is using a table from Dream Home Decorator and some base game chairs. I did take this opportunity to use a couple of my favorite items. So we do have this rug from City Living as well as a dine out plant. These curtains are perfect. Those are from the Desert, not Desert Lux. Yeah, Desert Lux kit which is also where these couches are from. And they are just so modern, simple, sleek, and exactly what I was going for in this space. So I do use a few items from there and I pair it with this fireplace, which is actually from Snowy Escape. I think it is such a gorgeous statement piece. So I had a lot of fun using that. And then I just combined a couple of rugs together here. These are from, I believe those are from Eco Lifestyle. I don't use them too often because they are a very narrow rectangular rug and a lot of times I feel like I want something a little bit wider but I felt like they tiled together pretty decently here you can see the seam but it's very subtle and then I decided I wanted to add some pillows to these couches so I end up using a combination of this pillow which I think is for like pillow fights and stuff and a meditation cushion that I am rotating with the tool mod to just add a little bit more decoration to these sofas as well as the chairs and we'll be actually swapping out the chairs to be different ones right now I thought the black was a little bit too stark and not really the vibe I was going for but I was trying it and I also really liked this green cushion at first uh, but that will be changed out for a brown one it ends up being much more brown and beige in here than it is right now uh, but I still think this looks pretty cute I, I was quite happy with it it's just it wasn't really fitting with the rest of the apartment so I do go back and change that uh, but first, I'm adding a little bit of another pop of color in the kitchen with these canisters with the bright colors. And then I am trying to get rid of the dark black colors that I have throughout this space. So I do change the curtain colors and I'm figuring out a lamp and some more plants and just trying to make the space look really cozy, like I had mentioned. And I really feel like plants make a space look more alive, which of course they do. They're 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 alive. Uh, but I just, I don't know what it is about it. I just love adding them everywhere. I do this in real life too, but I don't have any real plants. I can't keep them alive. Uh, but I just, it instantly looks better if you just put a plant somewhere. So that's what I did in many corners of this home. Uh, but over here in front of the window, I do have a little cabinet for some extra storage of dishes. There's a 
stereo up there as well as some books and a plant. And this is where I am changing the chairs to these ones, which are actually from the Bowling Night Stuff Pack, which is such a good stuff pack. I love it so much. There are some beautiful items in it, especially if you like the mid-century modern style. It's gorgeous. Uh, so you can see I have those chairs in brown. I've also changed the color of the little meditation stool that I'm using on the couch. And we're swapping out the coffee table and it's starting to feel a lot more cohesive. Everything's matching a little bit better, which is what I was going for. So I was very happy to see that uh, because at first I, I, I almost abandoned this build, to be honest. It, it just wasn't flowing together. I had done the kitchen and dining space and then I couldn't figure out the living room, but I'm glad I stepped away and it came back because I think this came out so cute in the end. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, but over here, I'm just using some of these new bookcases from Growing Together. I really like how they have this end piece that you can use in a lot of different ways. I feel like it's super versatile and it has some nice neutral swatches as well, which is what I'm using here. And then over in this corner, I was thinking about putting an ottoman and then it looked kind of awkward. So what I ended up doing is adding another one of those bowling night chairs and adding an ottoman in front of it. So it looks like it's a place to put your feet up and then I'm just getting another one of those pillows to make it match the rest of the room. I think adding those little touches of pillows and cushions and stuff really just personalizes the space and makes it look more unique. I really, really enjoy doing that. I really wish The Sims would give us decorative pillow items that you can just add to couches because obviously I'm using the tool mod and a couple of items from like show live edit objects and debug to achieve that. So It'd be really cool if that was actually added into the game at some point. But anyway, this is going to be the entryway. I just have a nice little console table here with a couple of mirrors above it. So you can check yourself out before you leave. Another lamp in here and a couple of decorations. Like I have a plant and I think like a place to throw your keys. Yeah, I have like the phone object. I really like the everyday clutter kit. There's some really cool items in there. And uh, then we're going to be decorating the bathrooms. There are two of them in this apartment. There's this one, which is like the hall bath that everyone can use. They're the same size. They have a slightly different layout. I show the entirety of this bathroom and a little bit of the one next door because they are so incredibly similar. They have all the same fixtures. They're just slightly different laid out and I have some different clutter in them. But the other one is meant to be an ensuite for the primary bedroom, whereas this one is like the hall bath that anyone can use. But they are both full baths with a shower tub combo. Of course, the new one from Growing Together because of course it's new and shiny, but it is also a fantastic shower tub combo. It's modern and sleek and just beautiful. So it worked really nice in this space. I've also just been overusing it because I really like it. But anyway, this room is coming together now. I got a couple of paintings on the wall, a nice little rug in here, and just getting some decor over the toilet. That shelf piece from Tiny Living I think is really pretty. And I essentially have the same things in this bathroom. I am just swapping out the towels for a couple of bathrobes instead. And a couple of more like personal items for clutter. So we have like toothbrushes and makeup and colognes, I think. Uh, a couple of items from the various clutter kits to make it feel a little bit more lived in. So that is pretty much it for this bathroom. Uh, just grabbing some towels and then I think we should be working on the primary bedroom, yes. So this is a two bedroom apartment, but it has three rooms. It's just one of them. I have stages and office. So I guess it's a three bedroom apartment, three bedroom and two bathroom. But I was thinking this was the only bedroom actually somebody was living in. I kind of staged the other bedroom as a guest room. So I was thinking this is a single sim or a couple, or maybe they have a significant other that stays there at some point in time because I do have two bathrooms in the bathroom, but I wasn't thinking there were more than one bedroom actively being used regularly, uh, but obviously you could tell whatever story you would like in this apartment, have whatever sims you would like here. Maybe you have a couple of sims that are working their way up through the acting career. This could definitely be an apartment for roommates. I just decided to decorate it this way because I really wanted to have this massive suite where we have like a really big closet, a huge room, a giant bathroom that's attached to it. Uh, I just really wanted to go for that luxury vibe that I was talking about earlier in the video and I think I achieved it in this space. So right now I'm just putting a wall in the middle of the room to sort of separate the two different areas. We have the bedroom space where the bed is. There's also a chair over there. And on this wall, I wanted to make sure there was a TV so you can lounge in bed and watch whatever you'd like. I also put a console table down there and I should be getting a dresser over on this side of the room in a little while. But 
Over on the other side of the wall, I really wanted this to be the closet space. I do have one of the items from Get Together, the walk-in closet, but I also built out a pretty extensive closet space using the modular pieces from Dream Home Decorator. And I think it just worked really nicely because you get to see all of the different clothes the Sim has, all of the different shoes, and I just, it, it, it's something I feel like I will never have. I've never had any kind of walk-in closet, and this just seems so luxurious to me and fit right in with what I wanted to do in this space. I did a mixture of clothing hanging up from Dream Home Decorator as well as high school years just to get a little bit more variety, and then I ended up putting a mirror on the back of this wall as well, so you have plenty of spaces to see what you're looking like and check out those outfits. I also put another console table in the middle of that space as just like extra storage. Maybe while you're getting ready, you can plan outfits on there. And then this is the dresser I used, which is actually from City Living. It's not one I use that often, but it is a really nice dresser. Uh, but moving on to the other two bedrooms, this one is going to be a guest room. And I thought, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun with the guest room. It's not anything out there. It's just compared to the rest of the house, it's a little bright. But I feel like I see that a lot where people have uh, a little bit of fun <laughs> with their guest rooms and decorate them with like bold patterns or colors because it's not a space you're regularly using. So you can kind of go all out if you'd like to. This one isn't that complicated. I just decided yellow is a little bit bold compared to the rest of the apartment. So why not? Uh, so we just have a yellow accent wall and a little blanket on the bed as well. And there's some color in the painting above the bed as well as some yellow armchairs and an ottoman. It's a pretty simple room though. I didn't wanna to add too much clutter or anything like that because I was imagining this was a guest space, but you could renovate it to be whatever you would like. And uh, if you do like this apartment and you would like to download it, you can grab it right now. It is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. That's also the name of this channel now, so it's a lot easier to explain that. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, we are moving on into the office space, which could be a third bedroom, but I decided to make it into an office. I'm not entirely sure what this sim does that has caused them to be so famous. Uh, you could probably put like a streaming desk in here if you prefer. They could be like a traditional uh, like actress or actor if you want. There's a lot of different ways you can actually get famous in the sims. So <laughs> you can do whatever you'd like, but I thought having an office space would be nice. Plus, it's always good to have a computer in your Sims home because it's so important for so many of the things they do. Uh, so I just wanted to include that in this space. It's a very like minimal office. I feel like I kept the decorations very clean and aesthetic. Uh, that's kind of <laughs> what I was imagining. I I watch a lot of vloggers that have spaces like this. So I wanted to kind of bring that in to the Sims. And I think it came out really nice. Just adding a couple of pieces of artwork. We also get a bookcase wall back here. So we have lots of books. Plus it looks nice and it's extra storage. And I believe I got a couch in here as well. And I want to say that's it for this room other than a rug. And then I believe I also forgot the trash can out in the kitchen space. I will be grabbing that as well. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. <laughs>